Hello, everybody, and welcome to this live with the Talks the Entities facilitators. My name is Ashley Rose. For those of you that don't know me, I am an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator and Talks the Entities facilitator. And I've been facilitating these magical tools for about three years now. And the addition of these tools in my life has created this space of ease and of joy and of lightness that I never even imagined possible. And so I wanted to come on and just follow the energy and maybe speak about your business as an entity, but also like my story and how these tools have really dynamically changed my life and how you can actually really just apply them to yours as well. So I'm one of those people, and for those of you listening, that didn't believe I had a capacity with the spirit world. I believed that I was really messed up and wrong and that I, unless you're a psychic, unless you literally had a crystal ball and were doing psychic readings that you didn't have a capacity with the spirit world. And I was so wrong <laughs> with that point of view that I took. And recently I've been talking to my mom about, you know, what I was like, what I was like as a little child. And I completely forgot that I actually used to engage with this magical world. And she mentioned to me when I was about three years old and, you know, for, for a period of a few years, I used to sit in the garden and speak to fairies. And she was like, they were your best friends. And that was your like safe space. And I think for me, really, the addition of these tools has probably invited me more to myself than anything else before. And I know that can seem really strange. Like how has a Talk to the Entity class like invited you to more of yourself and actually taught you how to receive yourself and love yourself? But that's what it's really gifted me because so many of us don't recognize that we are also spirits. We are also entities. And when we say entity, an entity is just actually an energy that's defined. So your business is an entity. Your relationships are all different entities, your bank account's an entity, your body's an entity, and we can really communicate with all of these entities. But the thing is, we are also an entity, but we're just an embodied entity. We have chosen to take a body this lifetime, if you're listening to this live with a body. And when we talk about talk to the entities and we're talking about this vast spirit world, we are actually talking about disembodied entities. So what most people don't recognize is as a spirit or as an entity or as an infinite being, the molecular, molecular configuration of us is actually energy, space, and consciousness. And science has proven that everything's energy. Science has also proven that 99.99999% of every atom of energy is just space. And then there's consciousness. So we are this magical spirit, if you'd like to call it, or infinite being that functions like that. The Well, really, the molecular configuration of us is energy, space and consciousness. And the thing is, like when we ignore the spirit world, when we are disempowered when it comes to the spirit world or we resist, including the spirit world and even really beginning to engage with the spirit world, the thing is, we can't do that without a cost. And the cost is actually this loss of parts and pieces of ourselves. And what I didn't realize when I actually started using these tools of talk to the entities, I started gaining access to more of myself because through this inclusion of them, through this inclusion of this magical world, like that is always present and always around us, we actually have to begin to lower our barriers and really start to receive them, receive all of these spirits. And by doing that, we can't actually begin to receive the spirit world or receive anything outside of us for that matter without actually receiving ourselves first. So that was kind of like where my journey started with this. And I know that there's a lot of people that don't talk about it in this way because we don't actually recognize how much us, including this magical world that has always existed, actually invites us to more communion with ourselves and more lightness with ourselves. 
And I remember like in the very first talk to entities class I did, the facilitator said, the way you treat entities is the way you treat yourself. And in that moment, I really started looking at like how much I was ignoring and barely acknowledging this entire spirit kingdom. And that's exactly the way I was treating myself. I was ignoring my power. I was ignoring my potency and never truly acknowledging the gift that I actually be in the world. And in that moment, something dynamically changed. And that's when I really got that awareness. Like everywhere we ignore the spirit world, we actually lose parts of ourselves because we are also a spirit. We are also an infinite being, but we are just embodied. So I would love to invite all of you watching this to really, whether you've been resisting the spirit world or rejecting the spirit world or avoiding your capacities with the spirit world, what would you have to be willing to receive about you in order to receive this dynamic, ever gifting, magical world that we exist within? You cannot be and have all of yourself without including all energies. And I, as well as facilitating talk to entities classes, I facilitate a lot of relationship classes. And there is so much talk about like loving ourself. How do you love yourself? How do you like yourself? Like how do you receive more of yourself? Or how do you kind of have access to you? How do you have you? Or how do you come back to you? And the thing is, in order to do that, like you really have to begin to receive receive and include all energies and by including the spirit world like I said and actually beginning to just turn towards them just even acknowledge that they exist in so doing we begin to actually begin to acknowledge ourselves in a really dynamic way without recognizing that it's actually happening and all of this is so far beyond logic so for those of you listening that, like I mentioned, is kind of like resisting your capacities, or maybe you've done talk CNTs classes, but you haven't really been using the tools and you've kind of forgotten about the spirit world, I would love to invite you to the way I kind of started including the spirit world. And if I actually give you some pr pragmatic tools, I think the first thing like I would love to invite you to is again asking, like if you're someone that's been avoiding or resisting, really start asking like, is there anything I'm unwilling to receive about me here? What would I have to be willing to receive about me in order to actually include the entire spirit kingdom? And anytime you either think about spirits or you think about ghosts or, you know, those times that you think you saw something out of the corner of your eye and then you decide you're going crazy or you must be making it up. They're the times that 99% of the time there are actually entities there. And so where I started with all of this, when I kind of learned about these tools, I really kept it simple. And I just started with acknowledging, acknowledging, first of all, that I am aware that I'm not crazy or insane. And then actually acknowledging them by just saying hi. Whenever I heard my name, whenever I thought I saw something, whenever I thought about entities, I just say, hi, guys, what's up? And just through that acknowledgement, so many of these beings that hang around us actually just desire to be acknowledged. So when I would just like acknowledge them and say, hi guys, what's up? Then I would literally just pull my barriers down, begin to lower any walls and barriers that was creating this resistance or this separation with the spirit world and just relax into all of it and just be with without having to do anything, without having to say anything, but really just through that space of acknowledgement and just barriers down and just be with. So I would actually love to invite all of you right now to do that. Wherever you are, whatever is going on for you, maybe you've had an intense day or maybe you've woken up with intensities in your body. As long as you're not driving, as long as you're not driving a car or watching something cook on the stove, I would love for you guys just to really close your eyes <sighs> and just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and take another deep breath in 
and a deep breath out. And really relaxing, really relaxing into the space that you're in. Forcing your walls and barriers down if you must. Watching them go all the way down to the ground. And I want you to expand your energy out to the outside edges of the universe. Out to the outside edges of the multiverses and all unknown universes and just keep expanding. And from this space, I just want you to begin to acknowledge, even if you think you're crazy, even if you don't believe you're aware, just acknowledge and just allow yourself to begin to perceive any beings that are here with us right now. And just relax. Just say, hi, guy, what's up? And just be with everything right now. Notice you are not separate. And notice you are part of everything. And just continue to relax. And you can open your eyes when you wish. So that small exercise was really where I began with all of this. It was kind of one of those ever gifting exercises that allowed me to relax into the space of the unknown because so much of this spirit world particularly in western culture is not spoken about is quite a taboo subject and is something that a lot of us are disempowered in and a lot of us particularly if we see things or we hear things we don't actually know what to do with that and so much of what we see in movies particularly movies that have ghosts in them, we are disempowered with all of this information that they're bad and they're wrong and they're scary and they can have power over you. But what no one teaches us is when you actually just begin to be with everything that you may not be able to see, that is largely unacknowledged, then this is where like the ease lies and where more of you begins. So you can kind of tap into how your body is right now. And you can just ask, are you lighter? Do you have access to more of yourself? Is there more space? Maybe there's more joy. Maybe there's something kind of going on that you can't put words to but there's all these different energies that you may not have experienced before. So that's just a tool that I wanted to gift all of you guys to start with. Whether you have done a Talk to Aunties class before, whether you know the tools really well or don't, what if you could just gift yourself that space and really start to notice that every time you begin to acknowledge and turn towards and no longer avoid and no longer resist, more of you becomes available. And I guess like before I finish this live, I wanted to kind of like mention as well, like my little bit of my story about the tools. But as I was mentioning, when I was, you know, three years old and above speaking to the fairies and sitting in my garden, I, in those moments, had me. There was this, there was no separation. There was this magic available. I knew that magic existed. There was infinite possibility. There was miracles. There was just this peace with who I was. 
And I know that's because in that moment, I was not actually blocking out the spirit world and I was not blocking out anything. I was being with the entire spirit kingdom, including the nature spirits, which some of them are fairies. And really, I guess, like starting to grow up, particularly going to high school, I started cutting off parts and pieces of me through disengaging with the spirit world because I didn't want to be made wrong. And I thought maybe I was crazy. And I was like, well, what's more valuable? Like having all these people like me and not think I'm crazy or communicating with the spirit world. And so at some point I was like, well, I'd prefer to be liked by people. And I think so many of us do this. Like so many of us, in order to be liked by others or fit in, we like literally cut off so much of ourselves. And so during high school, I really struggled at school. I really struggled with um, anxiety, with depression, and that just kept getting worse. And when I moved to um, Melbourne, Australia, so I live on the Sunshine Coast, Australia, and I moved to Melbourne when I was 20, things like heightened and my anxiety worsened, depression, I started having chronic fatigue and I started binge eating and they kind of like, I guess, like some form of eating disorder and nothing changed it, no matter what I did. I went to so many different personal development courses and classes. I had so many different energetic healing sessions and it just, these symptoms just got worse and nothing changed it. And I moved back to the Sunshine Coast six years later. And as soon as I arrived on the Sunshine Coast, there was this peace and space in my world that I hadn't experienced like that whole six years that I lived in Melbourne. And I started kind of like feeling more of myself. And then when I come across the tools of Talk to the Entities about two years after that, I realized that there are places in the world that have more spirit activity. And the thing is, like spirit awareness can show up in so many different ways. When we resist or we avoid our capacities or we avoid our awareness, everything we reject often like a lot of the pain we experience in our lives whether that's the pain of like anxiety or depression or anything else you've been diagnosed with is often everything we're rejecting and what I realized is that started showing up in my life because I'd started rejecting this infinite spirit world these infinite beings if you know you could you could say that infinite beings um I started like rejecting my awareness I started rejecting everything I knew was possible I started rejecting magic and so so much of what we reject like I said shows up as pain and so the really cool thing with that is I started to recognize wow it's like when I include the spirit world none of that actually exists and through the inclusion of like, after taking the Talk to Antis class, like the beginning class, and then I've gone on to take all the other classes that you can, through the inclusion of this spirit world, I no longer have any of that going on. I no longer have anxiety or depression or chronic fatigue or binge eating. And that all stopped. Not so much when I moved to Queensland, when I moved back to the Sunshine Coast, but there was this peace and space opened up, but particularly when I did my first Talk to Antis class. So I just wanted to kind of gift you guys like that story because I'm sure there's some of you that like resonate with that. And I guess the second part of this is to acknowledge like just start recognizing like any pain you may be experiencing in your life. And that may be like psychological or physical. That can show up as like psychological can be like anxiety and depression and um, psychosis, schizophrenia, like bipolar. And then physical can be anything. I mean, pains in your body, sore eyes, chronic fatigue, like um, overeating. And if you just kind of look at that and you can actually ask like, okay, how much of this is the rejection of my awareness? Truth, is there anything I'm actually rejecting here? And is that awareness? And how much of what may be going on for you psychological, psychologically or physically may be all of this awareness that you're actually rejecting or may be this immense capacity you have with the spirit world that 
um, never shows up the way you think it's going to. So I will leave it there. I just realized it's been 20 minutes. That went very fast. <laughs> um, I hope that has contributed to all of you. How much more of you is truly available through the inclusion of all beings? And if you're someone that's been looking at, you know, or someone that's been asking to have more of themselves or receive more of themselves, like, I would really encourage you to start there. Like, what am I rejecting or who and what am I avoiding that if I no longer rejected or avoid it would gift me, me. So I am so grateful to have all of you here. And I know there are so many beings right here with us right now that are so grateful to have all of you here, um, even just being willing to um, know that something else is possible and available. So um, thank you everyone for listening and I hope to see you guys in the world sometime. <laughs> Bye.